اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session we are going to talk about evaluating structured model predictive power. Now these are the guidelines for using PLS predict if your Q square predict is greater than 0 and you check for prediction errors if they they are symmetrically distributed and they are not too extreme use RMSE and check if PLS SCM has lower prediction errors in comparison to naive linear model. For none of the indicators, then you've got serious issues. For minority of the indicators, then low predictive power. Now, most of the RMSE values for PLS SCM are higher in comparison to the LM benchmark. Then you've got low predictive power. Medium for majority of indicators, and if all of the indicators in PLS SCM have RMSE value less than the naive LM benchmark, then you've got high predictive power. Now, how do we do this in smart pls so i'm going to use pls predict to check the predictive power of this model let's go to calculate pls predict number of folds 10 number of repetitions 10 we have already looked into it partially squares path and start now here are our results pls lm so we've got the prediction summary for our manifest variables and this is what i'm interested in now we can have latent variable as well the rmse the mae q square predict this is good for latent variables but we are not interested in assessing this for now we are interested in assessing these values here so the first step is we go to pls manifest variables mv manifest variables histogram and we are going to assess if you we've, we've got highly skewed distribution of the residual errors now look at this well it looks symmetric to a certain extent look at this a well, long tail not that long but long again you have to do it for all of them most of it is in the middle here for most of them you cannot say it's highly asymmetric this is fine this is left tailed left tailed left tailed left tail but so overall it's not highly asymmetric the the tails are not that long so there is so it is not too long left or right tailed so yes we can go for rmse if you think that this is the tails are too long you can use mae the option is there to be used so for now we are going to stick to rmse that is mostly utilized so how are we going to do it let's go back to our output once you have seen the histograms here pls mv error histogram now come to mv manifest variables prediction summary here it is so i'm going to compare here these rmse values here the pls with the linear model so if this model would have been assessed based on linear regression simple linear regression these would have been the rmse values with the pls model the proper measurement and structural model these are the rmse values the discrepancy between the actual and predicted values and this is the discrepancy between actual and predicted values when a linear model is utilized to predict the outcomes Now we have to compare the PLS RMSE with linear model RMSE. Now the Q square is all good. So let's compare these two. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to copy the PLS one Excel format and let's go to Excel, open, paste, and this is for let's say I'm going to use. Let's delete these two, and this is PLS. Now let's go on with LM linear model Excel format and paste it here. Let's delete this. For now let's delete the Q square as well. This is if you see here the Q square is good enough for your PLS model. You can say it's moderate to substantial. So you do not need these two columns. So those two columns have been removed. Now we've got PLS this is pls and this is 
lm now what you can simply do is add a formula press is equal to pls minus lm so if there is a negative sign this means lm has got a higher value look at this lm has got a higher value and similarly you can do it for all of them now look at this higher 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 so in most cases except for one here where this one is higher in most cases the value for linear model is higher in comparison to the pls model so when your values are higher for your linear model in comparison to the pls model and in this case the most of the values are higher the error is lower in pls model if the error is lower the prediction error is lower this means your model has got high predictive power hence we can conclude that the model has got high predictive power and this is how you can use pls predict in smart pls to assess the predictive power of your model i hope this session would have helped you understand how to use smart pls to assess the predictive power using pls predict thank you very much